you see, it can take your sila, I am very good, I am very good Dhamma practitioner, I have a lot of wisdom, oh, ego very dangerous. Very, very dangerous and very sneaky because ego can disguise as wisdom. Ego knows how to put the, the disguise of wisdom. So be very careful, my dear family. The enemy is in. The enemy is in. And of course, it can take the most beautiful things trying to appropriate mine. When the mind says I and mine, atta and ataniya, problems ahead. Hmm. Who was here for the last talk? Well, a few. Oh, many of you. <laughs> okay, you know, I like the, I love this reminder for the one who was not here. Let's just remember that right now we are floating in space. I'm not lying. I'm not inventing. It's fact. We are floating in space. We born floating and we live, have lived all our lives floating in a galaxy, in a solar system, in a galaxy. We are very small in comparison to this universe. Same, our problems are the same size. Very, very small. So we can cap hey, fu hey, ah, a little bit bigger, ha. Cap hey, fu hey, nah, a little bit bigger. Cap hey, fu hey, ah, that was a good one. <laughs> we are at peace with life. We recognize with perspective. It is not so big, ne? What we worry about when we look at the big, big picture, eh, it's not so big, la. So, okay, off we go. And let's start then with the talk of today. We keep curiosity, openness, and we want to know about the world. So I have a question. Who here would like to be happy? Raise your hand, who here will like, oh, there are some who don't want, I think. <laughs> I think we all can say that we all want to be happy, isn't it? What do you think is the purpose of life? Can we say that being happy? Do you work because of what? To be healthy, to be happy, isn't it? Do we go to school for what? Well, to, to, to grow in knowledge, eventually to be happy. Why do we do, uh, why do we eat? To be healthy, to be happy. Uh, why do we take our hobbies? Yes, to entertain ourselves for a little while and to be happy, to, to grow. So can we say that the purpose of life is, is to be happy? Can we? There are some teachers like that. What, what, there are some ideas. There are many purposes, but one of them, whatever we do, is going in that direction. I think we can, we can say generally, and we can see with all human beings, we, in our own way, we are trying, whatever we do is for our well-being. There are different degrees, we will see. So any kind of race, any kind of age is looking for happiness, isn't it? So even other species, can you see here? <laughs> they also can be happy. Look at this one. Oh, so nice. Eh? They are also looking for it and they are trying to avoid pain. They are trying to avoid stress and difficult situations. They are trying to go move away from it. So if I, if we said, I already asked, do you want to be happy? Everybody says, yes, I want to be happy. Next question. And this one, safety belts on. We will start the exploration. How much? How much? Okay, you want to be happy? How much? Because there are different kinds and depths of happiness and they have different methods to arrive to them. So first, we want to be sure. How happy do I want to be? <laughs> How free do I want to be? Because there are different ways. Let's explore a little bit what I mean by this. For example, there is some happiness. You know this one? Jaya, Jaya Grocer, you know them? Okay, so there are some, there is one place, there are some places like this one where you can go with a little bit of money and then there is some happiness that it is so cheap, so cheap, so cheap that you can even buy it. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cheap that you can even buy it. You, you see, you get some papers from your pocket or some pieces of metal and then you exchange them and then you get some happiness. It's cheap happiness a little bit. Yeah, you can buy it. And then I ask you, if you get an ice cream, everybody likes ice cream, who likes ice cream? Show me, show me. Yeah, well, many of us like ice cream. Good, okay. So you get an ice cream and you're taking the ice cream. Mm, you pay for your ice cream, you get it. Mm, 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 mm. How long does that happiness last? Short Ideas? Short time, isn't it? How, how, how long do you think? 10 minutes? Do you take 5 minutes? 
How, how many? I don't know. A few minutes you will have. Eh? Five. five minutes, let's say. Okay, so five minutes you will have this happiness. And then what happened later? If you want to continue being happy, what would you do? That's why we have the, the hero, Jaya Grosser. We have it again. <laughs> so here we go again. And then you just take another piece of paper and then you give it. And then you get another shot of very short-lived happiness. Mm-hmm. And you can get something else. So... <clears throat> The thing is that, yes, there are many kinds of happiness. And I was very, I was wondering, sorry, while preparing this talk, I will go back here. <laughs> while preparing this talk, I said, okay, let me see what does the, the internet is a big source of information, you know? So let's see what the internet says. What is happiness and what are the causes of happiness? Because I thought, no, ice cream cannot be the answer to, <laughs> to life. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just get a factory or we'll have a, a huge fridge and we'll be happy forever. Can we do that? No, no, very quiet, everybody, yes. So then I went to Google, pa, 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 happiness, chuck, 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 and the causes of happiness. And this is what the images that, I, that Google sent to me, uh, sent to us, because it's like, like, like the human, human repository, repository of knowledge. Hmm. So as you can see, this is what Google Images brought. And you can, we have many options already over there. But then I start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling down. I started recognizing a pattern. Actually, from all these ones, for example, these two, where, where, where is this thing? This one and these ones are food, no? So we can have one. Then we have a lot of vacations. And then we have a lot of romance and et cetera, et cetera. So finally, uh, anyway, you see the, the Buddha was there. One photo. <laughs> one photo and thousands of the other ones. So after I t- took a look, and I found, like, in general, there were four categories. One was vacation. Was, was one of the... Are you happy when you go on, to, on vacation? Yeah. Are you happy when you go on vacation? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't sound very happy, but uh, <laughs> good. Then another one, big one, food. And I have a Chinese family. I was married with uh, my ex-wife is from Macau. I know Chinese culture, how much they like food. <laughs> so uh, New Year, what are you thinking? What am I cooking in the morning? Why am I cooking in the evening? Where are we going? You're just finishing lunch. And where are we going for dinner? Just <laughs> still having like this. And then with my family, my family in Macau, we used to have trips trips to go to Hokkaido only to eat. I mean, the other things were, okay, if we go to see the mountain, no, that's secondary. We were going for the Ikura. Actually, we were going to eat. So I was, first time in Mexico, we don't do that. We also love food, of course, and, and do. But anyway, food, especially in Asian context, is very, very important. Another one was romance. And this one for Mexicans, for example, in Latin America, you know. But this one I put it because I find it very funny. <laughs> He says in Spanish, la causa de mi felicidad, el fútbol. But in translating, the cause of my happiness, soccer. Imagine. So then I started thinking, well, what if your team lose? (laughs) I'm sure you will be happy if your team wins. Yeah, I will be very happy. But what if your team lose? Now, the question is, does your team you have a team, maybe maybe you don't like soccer, but you like tennis or you like, uh, I don't know, volleyball or badminton, whatever, or in the Olympics. Are you happy when your team lose? No. There are all the kinds of happiness, politic parties, no? And everybody's the red or the blue ones. Are you happy when the other party wins? So actually, I was really, really amused by this one because I thought, wow, this is something. Okay, so after, let's continue our research. What is happiness? This is what the world tells us, isn't it? Do we pursue, so? Any, do, does anyone here pursue any of this kind of happiness from time to time? I say, I mean, from time to time, I'm just saying. Anyone? Yes, we all, so, okay. So here we go, options that science, let's call it a bit deeper. What does science and spirituality or spiritual teachers have to say about happiness? And you will start seeing some of the things that we didn't encounter in Google. Google was not aware of these, of those things. You need to go deeper from the surface. So science and our spiritual teachers and all the spiritual traditions, I think, converge in this. Buddhism is a little bit more specific in some points. And let's take a look to what kind of things they say that makes us happy. 
one of the first things that I think also is very important is recognizing our blessings, gratitude. We just did now, before starting the session, very briefly, we went, we are alive, we have a home, we have food. When these things become invisible, oh, my dear family, we are lost. When our blessings that are every day there become visible, invisible, sorry, then we are start searching because we forgot what we have already. So the practice of gratitude leads to contentment because actually many things are going well. I am not thirsty. I'm not looking for something new. So gratitude is one of the sources. And as the Buddha says, from the four uh, 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 needs that we have as human beings, food, shelter, clothing, and medicine, I think we all have them covered. We have friends, we have family, we have access to information and education. Even we can take from time to time some vacation, isn't it? And we can take some luxuries from time to time. Wonderful. We need to remember every day, and that will lead us away from wanting, longing, loss. So this is very important. Science and the spiritual teachers agree that this works. Another one that also very beneficial, not just to become a monk, ne? <laughs> to practice the Brahma Viharas, you know, practice loving kindness. You feel love and wish for the well-being of yourself and of others. Also, you recognize the suffering of others and then you want to help. And when we help somebody else, how does it feel? After you help somebody else, how do you feel? Wow, immediately there is some sense of dignity, some sense of satisfaction. When you see that your action improved the life of somebody else, and then, well, of course, when we are happy about the happiness of others, that's another one that is also proven scientifically. Compassion and love in the brain makes some changes and it throws out the chemicals that makes us feel happy. Another one that is community friends, family, when we support each other, when we hang out together, when we support, and then when we have fun together, or when we have a expression of love, are you okay? Do you, um, uh, when they say, no, you arrived to the house, did you eat already? So this kind of thing that your grandma tell you, it's a, it's a moment of love, of connection. This also is proven scientifically, and our teachers, spiritual teachers knows that it's a very big source of happiness. You see, we start seeing different things from what Google originally told us, isn't it? Another one that brings a lot of happiness, and we can see it here in her face, is service. Helping others, feeling useful ourselves, feeling uh, dignified. I am useful for the well-being of somebody. I am doing something for the planet, for the benefit of other people. So altruism is also another source of happiness. Exercise, as we know, just doing exercise, develop that we decrease, do, uh, uh, not decrease, uh, secrete dopamine and endorphins and many of the toxins goes away from the body. So even we get a little bit tired, it's also proven that physical exercise, it's a must for all of us because it also makes us happy, especially if we do it as a group with our family or etc. then that is, uh, is a bonus. And of course, laughter. When we take things not so, well, we are not so serious, eh? people are very serious. Sometimes I go in the street and people, or in the, in the, in the metro. Wow, everybody's so serious. So this seriousness, mm, it leads eventually to some sadness and eventually we don't take care. Depression, eh? because we are not having spark in our life. We are not having joy. So if joy is absent, oh, difficult. There are many ways to laugh with friends. There are many ways to laugh, uh, how to say, <clears throat> healthily because there are ways to laugh about others ah look like like mocking that's a way of laughing that is very cheap very low yes the people is laughing but they are using the other people's by bringing people down not good so of course uh, healthy laughter is very good and it also uh, segregates all the uh, endorphins in the body and that makes us happy